What's up guys, this is farming episode number 27. We're just picking up right where we went left off from Gorilla Man. So if you want to see 26, maybe you saw 25 and then you're like, squad, it should be 26. No, 26 is on Gorilla Man's channel. Now, we are not gonna be making any we're not gonna be making any power food today. Um, because Gorilla Man told me to wait for him, and I'm gonna wait for him because he's not he's not gonna be in this, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to be making any power food because he said it was pretty complicated and took him like hours and hours just to get it down. So I'm going to wait for him for that. So we're going to get other stuff done besides, you know, like power food and stuff. And I think I'm going to buy some more sheep. That's, that's one plan. Sheep and cows. You know, I might not be feeding them right now. I probably shouldn't be buying more when I can't even feed them. But here, let's actually just go through all this stuff. And dude, I got to say, if you guys do enjoy this just stuff. Definitely go check out the Instagram, my Instagram, and the squadoutdoors.com where you can buy t-shirts, sweatshirts, anything like that. And also hit that like button, that'd be awesome. Okay, so we, oh, I do, guys, I didn't even know this. In Grill Man's video when he was recording, I was like, what? You can scroll to the right? That's horrible that I didn't even know that. I, I don't know, I just, I just totally like blocked it out and stuff. But, oh boy, go back, go back a little bit. We got sheep, pigs, cows. We could get more sheep. Honestly, sheep are really efficient. It's just hay and grass, which I got tons of bales there, and just more water, which I got a big water tank. So we should be good there. So I think I'm going to buy a ton more sheep. It was pretty cool how it all worked out. Maybe not a ton more sheep. I wish. Okay, guys, does anybody know how to extract, like, straw and corn? Look how much corn I have for pigs. That's going to go to waste because I, I don't know if I can get it out or what. But I'd like to extract this because I have zero pigs in there, but yet I have corn in the feed bunks. Wheat, barley, sunflowers, soybeans, you know, I got a lot of money sitting there that I don't know how to get out. So if anybody actually knows how to get that out of the feed bunks, that'd be awesome. And then we got, so for cows, we got, okay, all they need is silage and hay, which I don't understand how you, the difference between grass and hay. Uh, I think you, you tet it and you just spread it out. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I can't tell you the difference, but so they're pretty good besides that they need power food or silage or hay which silage we're gonna make the silage like that like i said i'm gonna wait for grill man on that um and then what else oh eggs in the coop i guess i could collect those eggs um but for now let's get planting so i think we're gonna throw the 4760 i think we're gonna throw the 4760 on there oh boy we gotta move all this stuff but we could get that cultivator going. I got the 4955 on the cultivator. I know it's a little underkill. That cultivator is huge. But we had the 8530 on this. So I was like, hey, whatever. We'll just leave it there. So let's get in the 8530. Hit enter. Start her up. And then we'll go spread this stuff. Oh, boy. Even the even the forage harvester has a full load back there. Okay. What we'll do is we'll go spread this stuff. And actually, I could probably get that cultivator going right now, couldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. So this, we'll probably just buy some more sheep. Oh boy, we don't want to go through there. Let's see if we can go around here and then kind of swing through and back up here. That's what we'll do. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit and then just back up right here. Okay, okay. Sweet, keep backing up. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go, squad. Nice, you got it locked and loaded right there. Okay, sweet. Just keep dumping, 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 dumping. Actually, we can just pile it kind of right there. You know what? We can just keep driving over it a little bit. Uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push her. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh boy. We're kind of dribbling. Gosh, that took forever, I, feel, I felt like. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to shut her off. Or wait. There we go. Put her down. And then, ooh, dude, we're releasing these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, like, return them. I don't know if I'll actually return them, but I'll... Okay, there we go. Can I unattach it? Okay, I can't unattach it. Whatever, it's fine. Um, The Forge Harvester should be able to pull it and back up there, even though, I don't know, it's not really meant to be hauling these things around. I guess it is, because he pulled it through the field. So we should be fine. So let's get in the Forge Harvester. Oh boy, start her up. There she goes. Okay, sweet. And we're just going to go unload this, and then I'm going to un... Not sell both of these, but just return both of these. And then we also lease the machine, so I'm going to return the machine, too. Yeah, we're going to be returning a lot of equipment. We, I think I leased the head. I, I should have leased the head. If I did it right, I leased the head. Okay, so what we're going to do, just back in here. And... Yeah, so I don't know. I was kind of wanting just to get a ton and a ton of this, but Grillman said, like, this is easily enough. 
So, I think we'll be good here. We can just release it again, I guess. It's like $30,000 just to lease it, something which is kind of bad. But whatever. It should be. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll be good. Come on. Keep going. Okay. Now is time. I want to see what all I had leased. I can't remember. I'm sure you guys even remember better than me. But we go to P, we go to garage, and we go to lease items. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All this stuff is going back. Return. Is there a return fee if you don't? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, returning that. Oh, returning that. Returning that. And returning that. And then I should return this, but actually we're going to be hauling sheep. Sheep and some cows, I'm thinking. So, I don't need to return it. And I'm just going to use the follow me mod. It's what? Yeah, that should work. That should work good. But first, got to get that planter going. With probably the 4760. You guys saw how much money I had. Now, we got this from selling... Gosh, what did we sell? We sold wool, sold wool, and then we sold soybeans, and we sold, like, corn. And, yeah, that's pretty much how we got all of our money. We had a ton of soybeans in there, like a full load, which is, soybeans get a lot of money. I love playing soybeans because, you know, you don't have to go and unload the... Actually, where's our 4760 at? Okay, well, well with soybeans, you don't have to go unload the combine all, all the time and stuff. And then, yet, they still pay out, per, they still pay out, like, double corn. I love it. Where is our 4760 at? Does anybody know? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, is it back there? No? Okay, well actually we gotta get in that. We gotta get in the 4955. But, okay yeah, we gotta get in the 4955 and go start cultivating that other field. I was, we were pretty close to buying field, I think it's field 2, buy grill mans guys. I don't know if we should just add money to buy it or what. I, we gotta figure out how to buy it because we want grill man to have kind of a field. I mean. He's part of our operation. Just think of us like brothers or something. He's just like part of a family operation, I guess. And he's going to be running Case. Actually, that's what I was going to do. I was going to buy a Case loader tractor for him because he's going to be the international guy. I just shouldn't say Case. I Sorry, guys. I get Case, international. You know, I kind of mix them in between. But international. I was going to buy an international tractor for him because he's going to be running international red tractors. And he's going to be running some Case IH yet. And... I'm going to be around John Deere. I think that's how we're going to do it. And we're going. We're cultivating. Okay, sweet. We're going to get out of your way. Oh, oh, almost dodged it. We did dodge it. And should we jump in the 85? Oh, I thought I sold this dude. Oh, crap. Did I sell the wrong? I think I sold the wrong one. Oh, dude. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. I think we bought this one, too. Oh, God. Don't tell me I did. Oh my gosh, I sold the wrong one. I sold the one that was going to go for silage. Or that we haul like silage and hay with. Okay, well, we own this thing? I don't want this thing even. We're selling it. Yeah, I don't... Dude, I don't even... Actually, it can haul. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it because this will be able... Yeah, I guess we'll keep it. Whatever. We'll keep it. I guess I, I, guess I can decide later because it's not going to cost me anything keeping it right now. Like, the price isn't going to go down or up, so we can just keep it right now. What we'll do is... Oh, dude, where are we going to put it now? I don't even know where we're going to put it. Okay, we'll just throw her back here, I guess. There we go. And we'll go... Dude, what we're going to do is we're going to go buy... Oh, there's a 4760. The 4760's in there. Oh, boy. we got to get the... Pull... Okay, hold on. we got to pull the 4760 out. Get it with the planter. Start planting. So let's see if we can get in it. This is our big planter tractor. I love this. We got a good setup here for planting, I think. 4760 is huge, though, man, compared to every other tractor. There we go. So we'll just swing around here. Hook up to... Come on. And... Or what? what, what? <laughs> Hook up to the combine. Hook up to the planter. There we go. There's our planter. And what we'll do is we'll unfold it now. Sweet, and start planting right here. Okay. Should we hire a worker? Oh, what were we going to plant, too? We were going to plant, I think, oh gosh, dude, I forgot. Okay, I know we had to plant wheat. God, did we have to plant wheat? I don't think we did. Okay, we're just planting soybeans for money right now. I guess we'll just plant soybeans. That's all I can think of right now. For money, we were, gonna, we were gonna try something really new, like creative, like potatoes or something. But for now, we'll just go soybeans. I'll just say safe. 
We'll just go soybeans. Just because we're used to soybeans in. Should I work out fine. And then this guy's cultivating. Okay, what, what else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to go buy Gorilla Man a tractor. That's right. I was going to go buy him a lower tractor. Now, guys, the thing with this, and I got to shout Nathan out. I got to link him to his channel. It's Tier Dog Gaming. Oh, I forgot to do it in the last video. Okay, I forgot to add that link, and I'm probably going to forget it again this video. But if we go over to tractors and we go to international, okay, we got the loader, the 986. 986 with duels. It has duels. But the nice thing about this loader tractor is. That it okay? I thought he was gonna put different options and stuff on this. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he, maybe I didn't get this all the way like done the way I wanted it to. I on. Let's tab over. But he was supposed to change the loader controls on this. Okay, yeah, he did change the loader controls. That's nice. Okay, he did. He did, and so there we go. There we go. I like that. Okay, he changes the loader controls to how I want it. Awesome. Thank you, Nathan. I do appreciate that. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to buy a little bucket for it. If we go to front loaders, we should have... Is this going to work? Should I go red? I got to go red. Um, Is it going to match, though? Oh, boy. I don't know if this red's... Oh, I think it's too bright. Ah, maybe it will. Maybe it will, but this will be Gorilla Man's tractor. And he also has the other international, the 1086. But this one has duels. I, I feel like you shouldn't put the loader on the dual tractor. Du I don't know. That's just me, kind of. But whatever. Okay, so we got this, and then like if we need bale forks or whatever, we can just go and grab them back at the back at my farm. But for now, guys, this is gonna be a surprise for Gorilla Man, a surprise tractor for Gorilla Man. Okay, we're just gonna put it in. I think yeah, what we'll do is we'll just put it in the shed over here. And it's gonna be a surprise because I know he's been wanting one. So yeah, Gorilla Man, we got an international for Gorilla Man. Okay, sweet. And what we'll do, oh boy, he can almost barely fit in his yard. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just park it back here. Park it in the shop. See if we can back her up a little bit more. There we go. And, oh, fuck, it's good. I think I could have got a little better color to match it, but it should be fine. Whatever. Okay, so we bought that for Grill Man. It's got that. I feel like we have way too many tractors now. I don't know, but. Should we go put the red grain wagons at his farm just to, you know, just to match all red and red? I think, I think that's what we'll do. And then we got to go buy some sheep yet. Oh, boy. There's a lot to do. And, dude, I want to start another map. That's what I want to get doing. I feel like it would be awesome to start another map and stuff because this map is, you know, it's, it's good. But And then when I'm looking for a map, I want to do a map that will, like, you'll be able to hire workers and they'll have enough room to turn around. I notice there's some fields where you like there's not going to be enough room to turn around on some maps like i think county line for example it's kind of tough to turn around for some some big tractors and stuff i think it's kind of made to like do it yourself you know that's what i think oh boy oh gosh we're going swimming all over what what's what that it's just like some grass on the ground or something okay um we'll just go park this at his farm oh we don't want to run over the other random farmer's field i guess we could uh, ah. We have ethics. We have ethics. We can't just drive over the crops. And we'll take a left. Sweet. And, okay, so. Oh, dude, this is going to be tough to pack in. Okay, maybe we'll just keep these at his farm because it is going to be real tough to pack in there for him. So I guess these will kind of just sit outside for him, I guess. Yeah. Even though he does have a ton of shed space to where I could could probably try to pack it in, but it's going to be way too tough. Okay. We'll take a left. Slower down. There we go. Oh boy, we're getting some air there. You can see that. Holy crap. Okay. Keep pulling forward. Pulling here. Take a right. Swing wide. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay, here. What I'll do is. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Keep turning. And I do want to buy this field for him. But it's a lot. It's a crazy amount of money. Ah, maybe we. But we want enough money for sheep if we start buying the field. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. If we can get that all those those crops or the the grain out of the pig area and stuff, that that would help a lot with the mine situation. So what we'll do is unattach. Sweet, he's got his red grain wagons, and we'll park it for him. Okay, so his farm's getting started. His farm's getting started pretty good. Like money wise, the money wise, his money's always gonna stay with me because 
he can't like store money on multiplayer when you're playing with somebody else. Like he loses money every time. Oh gosh, I forgot to show that off. But he loses his money every time he exits the game. So he's not gonna like be having any money. I'll kind of just keep track of all the money. Okay, now we gotta go get our F450, F350. Probably one load of sheep will do it. Oh gosh, we got our equipment trailer on still. So what we'll do is we'll unhook that. Boom. Hook up to this trailer. Okay, and then we gotta get Gromans F350. Hopefully he doesn't mind if I use his F350. Oh gosh, I gotta back this in yet. Okay, it's kind of dirty. I hate backing in dirty equipment, but whatever. We'll do it. We'll do it anyways. Oh boy. Oh gosh, we're swerving it. Oh. There we go. Keep going. And we'll just keep... Oh, oh gosh. Dude, this barely fits in there. I don't even know why I'm parking it in the shed. Whatever. We'll just keep it like that. Okay. I gotta shut it off. I always forget to shut off all of my equipment. And then now we'll get in the F450. And then we'll get in the F350. And just park it right, be right behind there. We should be going. Okay, dude. What? My money is going down insanely fast. Wow. I guess we do have two tractors running. I probably left one running. So, yeah. <laughs> it adds up. Okay, we're getting grill minutes at 350. And now, one thing with the F350 is that if I don't go to it, it's kind of weird how the follow me model works. But sometimes it gets like all caught up and stuff, and it's, it's kind of bad. It was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys saw the last video. My last video. Episode 25. Uh, the episode I had. Yeah, yeah, it should have been the episode I had, I think. Um, it was pretty cool how you sold the like the wool and everything like that. Okay, that should be good. Hopefully it'll follow good. And we'll just get going. There we go. Okay, just go slow. Because this his F350 like, sometimes spins out. Like, go, stops, go, stops. It's really weird how it works. And we're going to go buy a load of sheep. So I don't, I'm not sure how many sheep. I think it's eight. Is it eight? I think it's eight sheep you can fit in here. So 16 sheep total. That should be good. He's probably going to be swerving all over the road back there. Oh, he's trying to catch me. There we go. Grill man. We'll just call him grill man, even though he's not actually like gorilla man in there. But yeah. Okay. We'll keep going. And then we'll just take a right right here probably. Yeah. That'll work. And then, oh gosh, I kind of forgot that. Okay, this is where he slides out. This is where, oh my gosh, dude, he went at me. Okay, come on, dude, make the turn. Okay, oh, he's able to turn. Sweet, he's probably going to go over crazy. Oh, yep, yep, look at him. See, he's like stopping going, like kind of like I did. Oh, there he goes. Okay, cool. See, he doesn't know when to stop. Watch. He gets, you got to slowly, like, teach him. Stop, stop, stop. He's breaking. See, he was breaking hard there. Um, where did, oh, Gosh, it's this way. Let's see if we can make the turn. There we go. Okay, sweet. And it's not too far. Hopefully, he can make the turn. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, gosh. I was right to that bridge right there. What we'll do is we'll just back up right here. And we'll throw her in the trailer. Oh, boy. Oh boy, don't, do, oh gosh, it's gonna go crazy. Oh, you're good, you're good, dude. Dude, please stop. Oh gosh, okay, we gotta get in it. Come on, stop. There you go, okay, you be good. Oh, this is the guy actually opening. Okay, sheep, bye, 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 bye. Oh, we can hold 14, that's pretty good. I like it, that's good. So we'll have 28 more, 56. Oh gosh, I just got a lot of money there. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Wow, that was a lot of money. Um, Now we're getting the F450. I don't know why I can't open the animal catalog. Um, maybe you gotta pull over to the side a little more. Maybe my, ch maybe it's just my truck. Okay, there we go. Cheap. Bye 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 bye. Sweet. Bought them all. And then what we'll do is I think we'll follow the F three fifty. We'll follow Gorilla Man's truck this time. Oh gosh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Wait. There we go, okay. Should be falling. And it's just falling this guy. We'll get going. F-350, look at that. It lifts up and stuff, I like it. Okay. Hopefully that F-450 has a little more control this time. That'd be nice. There we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We're starting to spin out a little bit and then swing wide here. Hopefully that F-450 is able, able to make, oh my gosh. 
That was close, okay. Come on, dude. I guess I didn't. Hopefully the duels make it. There we go. There we go. We're good. Okay, we're good. And now we're going to take it right and head crazy fast up the hill. Slow her down a little bit, though. Power strokes. Okay, guys. I was going to... Oh, that's right. I was going to get Grill Man a Chevy, too. We are going to give him a Chevy. So we'll probably do that maybe next video. We'll get Grill Man a Chevy. Just so we can't switch up because we have been using tons and tons of Fords, actually. Maybe could, Grill Man could stay color red and I could switch to color like, you know, I don't know if you want a green truck, but something else. Something maybe not red. Oh, gosh. Look at that F450. Oh, oh, dude, dude. You could, okay, there you go. He saved it. Holy crap. He was going everywhere. There you go. Let's make, make, can you make the turn back there? I don't know. Okay, and we'll just fly up this hill and just unload it all, unload them all at the top, and then maybe we'll feed. Actually, I don't think we have to feed because I haven't fast forward the time. I need to start doing that. You know, the more and more livestock I get, I need to start fast forwarding the time and not really worrying about the crops because that's my main concern right now, the crops. But I need to worry about the animals and just fast forward the time a ton so we can make a ton of money. You know, that'd be a lot. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh 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 my gosh, dude, that F four fifty. I cannot imagine what that's going to be doing. Oh, watch it. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. That thing is a monster back there. Oh, gosh. That's cool. Okay. We'll stop right here. It's probably going to come crashing into me. And where's the animal that? Stop, stop, stop. Yep. Called it. Okay. Now you are done. And we're getting that 350. Unload this dude. Okay. Oh, over here is where you unload it. Okay. Um, What we're going to do is pull through a little bit. And back up. Kind of just. There we go. Sweet. Now we'll just unload the sheep. Look at that. Okay, so we have 56 sheep right now. We'll have 70 by the end. Uh, we'll just pull this dude through. Hopefully we can pull around here. Okay, yeah, we can. Sweet. And I need to start storing grain and stuff too. That's what I need to do. And we'll just pull the F350 through. Or F450. I should get the I should get the ranch and bumper, but I don't think it looks good. It'd be like more realistic for farming, but honestly, it doesn't look that too good. Um, okay, what we'll do? We'll just yank this thing around. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, open animal dialogue, unload. And we should have 70. Sweet. Okay, we got 70 sheep now. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty. Yeah, that's probably where I want to be at. Maybe a hundred ish. I don't know. We'll just keep on going like it is. But anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end of episode number 27 hope you guys did enjoy this farming video and if you did hit that like button thanks for watching guys